Hey there guys, it's been quite a while since our last video, but uh, lots of Minecraft has been played and uh, yeah, I just want to show you a few of the things that you might be interested in. The main thing I'll be showing you today is a bit of computer craft and uh, also a bit of red power and what we're going to do with these things is uh, actually make an item ordering facility. The main idea behind this uh, system was that I wanted to actually construct uh, advanced solar panels which are the panels that require actually putting panels with high voltage converters etc etc and uh, the recipe for that was like so so long I mean it's you'll just see here yeah, it's quite it's quite a hectic recipe and there's many steps so you have to get lots of chips and then you have to put in a generator and then a few cold dusts and each one of those you know requires the cabling etc etc so yeah it's got it's a multi multi-phase construction and it was getting a bit boring so yeah decided okay how can we automate this basically it's a bunch of crafting tables connected to a chest each one of them has the various parts needed for crafting the the machine the solar panel and then uh, yeah so those all craft and then they all actually just feed back into the chest underneath there. Uh, so yeah, you'll end up with all your all your tools inside there. Unfortunately, you can't open it because I've got this on top. And this would be the actual final phase. So yeah, you can have up to one, two, three, four, five, six, well, six phases and then the finished product. And then uh, yeah, using Bullcraft, it feeds it off into that chest over there where you can see how many solar panels I've made. Yeah, so you're asking, okay, so what does Computer Craft actually do? Well, Computer Craft basically manages my server here, and it's this interface could use some work. It's, it's still in a rough sort of stage. But uh, yeah, you just say send items, and it will start running the item fetcher program, and you can see it shows me an inventory of what I've got in my chests downstairs. You just define that in the, in the actual LUA files. But it's all like, uh, it's got um, comments and stuff, so you should figure out what to do. If you don't, you can just pop a little comment in the YouTube video and I'll gladly help you. But yeah, I will be including all these files, except for the world file. The world file is a bit massive, but I will include all the programming files and how to set it up and everything. So yeah, let's say I want rubber. I just type in there, rubber, checks the file, says it's found. So just type how many you want. And then it says 20 rubber right at the top there has been added to your order. Then you can also preview your order if it's getting a bit large. So it just shows you there one order of 20 rubber. And you can also, yeah, you can you can order as many as you want. So let's say iron ingot. Okay, I want five of those. So it adds that to the list. And then when you've got a, a sufficient amount of items, you just click the send command. And it'll give you an estimated time. It's going to take 50 seconds to deliver these items and then it will end this program. So it sends that off via RedNet uh, to my item hub which is downstairs. Let's go have a check at that. You can see we've moved over to Bucket now because it's just got so much more cool stuff you can do. You can see there goes my rubber. Off it goes. I think the other one is already delivered. You can see here's my item hub it just gives you a rundown of how long the queue has been running when the next one's going to run and 15 seconds until the order completes and it counts down like that so yeah that computer up there sends a signal down to this one it checks where the items are and flashes the little redstone uh, the little uh, bundle cable for the correct color so that it activates the correct color and then it goes down if we look in our chest here we should see yeah five iron ingots, 20 rubber. So it's the correct amount that I ordered. Quite cool. Um, I did actually have build craft pipes and stuff at some stage, but it was just getting a bit inaccurate. You know, like once you started ordering more than 60 items at a time, the redstone engine would start to heat up and then it would be very difficult to actually calculate how long the redstone engine would actually have to run to get the items you needed. So yeah, I think this red power solution is a bit better. You just put in what you want in the chest and you put on the filter. 
and you say only one of these items you could change the stacks if you want to order like massive quantities but I've, I've got ideas to make this more of a global server item distribution center so yeah I just want to send one item at a time and then possibly to different locations at the moment this only sends to one location using those advanced pipes all of these mods are actually in the ticket ticket launcher now so you can just play ticket or you can even modify your own server like I've done here I've got like mo creatures and all sorts of other things going on for Mumbi who also plays on the server and also Ken there's some dungeon mods since he likes monsters and stuff but yeah that goes upstairs to the crafting table which I'll show you now it's, yeah these are this is also the iron chest mod very very handy it shows you like whatever's in your your chest you can just look at it and you can see oh there's the gold one no need to open them all very handy eventually I want to link this all up to a quarry and a macerate and those kind of things for the ores so they'll just pump in to here and keep supplying this whole factory but yeah you can have a look here this is the auto crafting station that's in between so basically the items will get pumped up into here and then uh, that all goes into the chest and then you can see it just pumps with redstone engines back feeding straight back into the chest again this is the computer that controls the engines turns them on and off from the main system there so you're thinking oh that's all cool but uh, it's going to be a bit of a mission setting up the older resources and working at all the resources required for solar panels well there is a solution to that I've only really added one thing at the moment but you could add as many as you want you just clap here recipes if you're paying attention you probably saw that earlier and it says okay we've got solar panel times six as a recipe why it's times six is because there's actually 13 cables required for the, the main recipe and uh, yeah that doesn't work out nice because you get six cables a shot so in two stacks you only get 12 so you're one short so you have to build six to get a perfect amount of copper wire and rubber and everything per, per recipe so if you want that you say solar panel times six so how many of these times six would you like to make you can go really crazy or you can just say one there you can make like 60 if you want I'll see if that's okay and then it makes an item list and it sends through an order for all the items required so yeah if we go back down here we'll see that it's busy sending off all our stuff isn't that cool looking here really really like that also really like the new Optifine you see it makes the glass like solid so you don't actually have all these little squares everywhere very cool there's some awesome additions to Minecraft these days and I'm sure it's just going to keep getting better with the mod API but yeah you see you can control it precisely the signal goes through once you get one item out so it's very accurate um, there is a delay I've put a two second delay on uh, this machine see it waits for two seconds before the ticks again every tick sends out one item the reason why I've put on a two second delay is it's actually waiting for signals during that time so if someone places another order from um, another location to this computer I actually wanted to be able to grab that order add it on to the, this existing order and keep sending it out but yeah I'm still busy trying to figure out how to do that efficiently because because it's a uh, you know it's a bit of a mission sometimes the the computer is busy in that one second period where it's actually ticking and then you get a timeout error there is actually a retry option in that computer if I try to send and it doesn't contact this machine it says would you like to retry the server may be busy so you can keep retrying your order but yeah I was hoping to try and figure out some way to have a, like maybe a secondary computer that actually does the ticking and obviously you can do it a lot faster but then yeah I'm just a bit, bit concerned as to how I would send that signal to it in the but yeah now maybe if you guys got some ideas you can maybe help me modify this thing but you can see all the items are going in there nice and steadily 39 copper is what you need the 24 tin and the rest is still coming in the rubber the rubber is quite a huge requirement there but yeah then you just click this on you can even I'm going to be putting a, a computer control on that as well so when you say crafting it's just going to pump it into the crafting you don't have to actually flick that switch but this is 
just wanted to show you guys before it was actually finished because I was quite interested to hear your opinions on this and if there's any way I can improve things so yeah to turn on this machine we just go to our main control and go to start crafting uh, okay there's some there's some weird issue where I think it's like chunk loading issues in multiplayer where this machine doesn't actually turn on correctly if it's not in the chunk yeah and there we go you can see it's starting to send the red net signal uh, yeah I'm not too sure why that happens I'll still have to debug that but um, yeah uh, if you guys can figure out what's going on there but it's not really necessary I mean you could just have a switch turning on this thing that would be as easy as it needed to be and then yeah that will produce the final solar panel once these all start you can see they're probably going to start pumping out there goes this one which is an iron furnace that goes in back into the chest and then it will be used in making the generator once the battery's constructed and yeah there comes all the stuff you can see it's starting to trickle through very very cool um, I still need to maybe get a nice control and make use of this monitor the moment is just sitting there looking pretty but yeah as I update the code I will be sure to upload it for you guys as well um, these elevators and everything if you're interested I'll just put the links in the comment description section below and you can add it to your server as well but it's looking pretty good hey, and I really <coughs> really do enjoy these extra biomes yeah these extra biomes are pretty awesome and a redwood forest I built in right here and as you can see over there it's actually a transport mod for bucket as well where you can walk to town and everything like that so yeah, a lot of cool stuff that's forestry very cool little mail system where you can uh, put stuff in letters and then send it to each other and it goes to the mailbox in the server on the server which is kind of handy very handy in fact and here's our walk back to town see a little win pew yeah in this place I've got all sorts of mass fabricators and everything running and you can see the town clock there that was in the other tutorial if you'd like to check that out that's also on the channel you can make your own time clock and yeah you can get around our whole place like this nuclear town, treehouse, oasis, redwood metro really cool mod really like it and wow I didn't know cacti could grow so tall Woo! There, there's something interesting going on there that's for sure well thanks guys, thanks for checking it out and I hope that was useful. If you have any questions or anything else you think might be cool to add to that computer just let me know and I'll add it in. Give you credit. Thanks for your help and thanks for your time. Have a good one.